I love the fact that my life is all over the place and I don't have any sort of average. And I actually don't think I, could, I couldn't deal with a nine till five or a routine sort of job. I'm Ruth Amos, I'm 26 and I'm an entrepreneur and engineer. I fell into this career, so my first business started from my GCSE resistant materials project at the age of 16. I designed a product called the Stair Study, which was designed because my teacher's father had had a stroke and couldn't use his stairs. So I designed the Stair Study, which is a specialist handrail that enables users to walk up and down their own stairs safely. And from creating the stair study and selling it. Uh, so I created a business and then found I really enjoyed running businesses and haven't looked back since. I was very honored to win Young Engineer for Britain in 2006 for the stair study. That for me was a defining moment because up to that point, um, I had a very different idea of what my life might be and afterwards I've been able to do so many fantastic things and that one opportunity opened doors to so many other things. I grew up on the outskirts of Sheffield. My whole career was kind of planned out. I had this idea in my head from about being the age of about 12 uh, that I wanted to be a barrister. I'd pretty much picked out my university course and then um, I got this engineering award and designed the stair study and I really wasn't sure what to do. And so I thought I would give myself three years to see how the product and the business went. And then if it all went horribly wrong, I'd go back to uni. And by the time those three years were up, I'd already started other companies and yeah, I never actually got around to going to university. And so yeah, I kind of took a completely different route to, to one that my teachers and career advisors were telling me to do. Someone once told me that you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And that for me really resonated. So if you look around and you think of the people that you work with or your family, what are they like? Do they challenge you? Do they support you? And you also have to remember what effect you have on the people around you. So I try and remember of actually, if I'm being negative and if I'm being really pessimistic, then that's going to reflect on those around me. And actually, I can do a lot just by being optimistic and, and upbeat and challenging. It was very exciting uh, doing my TED talk at Cambridge University. Um, it was very weird because actually Cambridge University was where I wanted to go and study law. Um, and I never actually, you know, after I turned my back on university, I never actually thought I would get to go there. But to go and to speak at a TED event there was just amazing. And it was just one of those events that was just perfectly coordinated and I am totally clumsy and was scared something was going to go horribly wrong. Um, but it was an amazing experience and I'm so glad that I did it. Looking back with hindsight, this is probably the perfect job for me. I just didn't know that it existed. I've always had ideas and wanted to make them happen. And yeah, this is the perfect, perfect career for me.